Hey everybody, it's Justin, your guide to the other side. You know, I actually want to talk about Legends of the Mara allies, so let's just kind of jump right in. So on July 6th, Other Side Meta covered the ally NFT projects that will um, be able to be used inside of like Legends of the Mara. So, you know, we can kind of see Coda's center stage. So obviously Coda's are going to be your main way to play, uh, to, you know, play to get on top of the leaderboard. And then we can also see the, the round table of other NFT collections that are going to be involved inside of Fighting the Shattered. So we can kind of see, okay, Board Ape Yacht Club is obviously there. You know, Wagming Sun is there as well. We can see Mebits. Uh, all these were inside of the trailer. Um, if we actually take a look, um, you know, we can kind of see, hey, you know, these are all of the collections that are there. Um, but, you know, Cryptodes, uh, Mutant Apes, uh, Mebits, uh, World of Women, you know, there are a couple of them here. And we kind of see, uh, you know, this is kind of a, a brief overview of, you know, allies that can uh, to help us. But... Uh, we can actually go take a look at the, the gaming blog because it was expanded on in more detail. Uh, so I would say, uh, scrolling down to uh, May 30th star uh, map update number one, we have the friends, right? So while ancient Codas take center stage in Legends of the Mara, allies will aid the battle to defend other side against the Shattered. So um, it's not like you're battling alone. Uh, other side will be announcing alliances, both with other Yuga PFP collections and a select group of third parties um, to enlist reinforcements to uh, Legends of the Mara. So one of the benefits is that when you own one of these, um, you have more ways to vanquish the Shattered, right? or And gather their treasures. So, you know, for example, a low tier environment with limited hunter slots could gain a strategic upper hand in fighting the Shattered, possibly leading to a better spot on the leaderboard. So if you already have one of these NFTs, you know, definitely use it inside of the, the game to, you know, get an advantage and try to play at a higher level um, with regards to like leaderboard rewards and stuff like that. So, you know, if you're looking at some of these, you know, we can go and take a look at uh, each one, right? So again, choose your battle alliances wisely. Each other deed will have a limited number of ally NFT slots. Um, stay tuned for official list of Legends of the Mar alliances. So uh, to actually go over these alliances, I am going to defer to Harry Liu at 4J. Um, they didn't necessarily like list everything all at once. I think everybody, each of these projects had like a, uh, you know, an, an ally um, announcement um, with in, in each of their uh, aesthetic art styles. So we'll just kind of go through each of these. Um, so we can see here, you know, Tame Other Side with Board Ape Yacht Club, um, you know, pretty big one. You know, Mebits, World of Women, Mutant Hounds, Forgotten Runes, Renga Inc., um, Gremplins, which is the crypto, I think, cryptos, and then 10KTF Shop. So, you know, we can kind of just go through each of these. Um, you know, definitely Board Ape Yacht Club, one of the biggest ones. I don't think it's um, going to be that accessible for most people. So we'll just keep going on. But it's obviously really nice that they have Board Apes there too. Uh, we also have Mebits. So I know a lot of people have Mebits here and there. So definitely use these if you have them. Uh, World of Women, obviously super beautiful art style, really nice overall. And then we also have, you know, Mutant, mutant Hounds. Um, so, you know, they, they kind of depicted the round table in their own type of aesthetic, super, super grim fantasy, um, you know, super aesthetic, like, damn, that looks super cool. And then we also have Forgotten Runes, obviously in their own art style as well, you know, super fantasy, stuff like that. You know, if that interests you, it definitely does me. Um, definitely take a look. We also have 10KTF or Wagmison. Um, you know, definitely is crucial and um, center stage and building that, you know, lore. I know uh, Wagmison has been pretty active in um, building this this lore out, especially with their uh, uh, maybe uh, cross uh, <laughs> universal crossover stuff. Um, but definitely interested to see what we have there as well. I'll have to cover that in a future video. Um, we have Renga Inc. as well. And then we also have um, Gremplins 2. So obviously, uh, you know, this is super, super interesting. I'm super excited for all these to come come, come around. Um, but yeah, definitely, if we take, if we actually take a look at the uh, at Gem or OpenSea Pro, we can take a look at what the price of these NFTs are. So, um, you know, this is just kind of uh, just to see which ones are most accessible on the market. You know, if you're interested in, you know, picking up an ally, especially if, um, you know, you're building your first uh, other build or basically, um, you know, tier build. Um, so, you know, Mutant Hounds kind of sit at 0 0.09 ETH currently at this current day and age. Um, I forgot what day it is, but uh, it's kind of, it'll be on the video uh, posting. But 
Again, we have mutant, mutant hounds at uh, 0.09 ETH. We have Renga at 0.26, Forgotten Runes at 0.47, World Bloom at 0.68, um, Cryptodes at 0.72, Mebits at 1.14 ETH, and Bored Apes at 30 ETH. So if you're looking at picking up any of these, um, you know, these are the prices. It seems like mutant hounds are the most accessible um, ways to get allies currently. Um, you know, followed by Renga and then Forgotten Rune Wizard Club. But again, uh, you know, definitely we definitely don't know what these allies do or what kind of buffs or um, roles that they have inside of the game. So, you know, it's up to your it's up to your uh, own research to, you know, kind of speculate on that. Um, but again, yeah, it seems pretty cool. Uh, overall, super excited for, you know, allies and, you know, that stuff to come around. But, um, you know, that's all I got for you today. You know, definitely like and subscribe if you found anything interesting or intriguing in this video. Always helps out the channel. Um, you know, you can always find me in the other side Discord, other side Wiki Discord. You can always ping me. I'm always there. But otherwise, this is Justin, your guide to the other side, signing out. I'll see you next time.